This is Salva. After many years of deliberation, the parent company of TikTok, which is Biden's, is on the move to reduce their reliance on the use of chipsets made by NVIDIA and move towards the making of their own AI GPUs. What is the secret pushing Biden's to attempt making their own AI GPUs? Could this be as a result of the US sanctions currently leveled against China? And can Biden's really make this dream a reality? Now, let's dive deeper into this. By the way, kindly don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next update. Now, latest updates indicates that Biden's is currently working on two AI GPUs that will go into mass production by 2026. This new chipset will be produced by TSMC, which therefore means that this new chipset will still have to comply with the current US sanctions leveled against China. Now, the fact that these two chipsets will still have to comply with the current US sanctions leveled against China implies that the performance of these new chipsets will still not be at the performance levels of top tier chipsets such as NVIDIA's H100 chipsets. On the other hand, these new GPUs will be far less expensive as compared to the price Biden is currently paying to NVIDIA for a less powerful chipset such as the H20 chipsets. Now, this GPUs will be made to meet two different specifications, one specifically designed for AI training, while the second one will solely be used for AI inference. Currently, these two chipsets are at the designing stage and is being designed by a US-based tech giant, that is Broadcom, the same company who previously produced AI processors for Google. According to reports, the GPUs are going to be made using one of TSMC's 4 and 5 nanometer processors, which therefore means that these chipsets are going to be made using the same processing technology used by NVIDIA in the making of their Blackwell series of GPUs. The key reasons behind this decision being made by Biden's has to do with the fact that NVIDIA is failing to produce and deliver on time the quantities of GPUs Biden's has requested based on contractual agreements. Moreover, these GPUs from NVIDIA are quite expensive. As much as this move by Biden's is a step in the right direction, this doesn't necessarily mean that Biden's has gotten to the stage where they can declare their full independence from the use of GPUs from NVIDIA. For now, Biden's still relies on the use of other related software owned by NVIDIA, which is mostly used for AI inference and training. As much as key Chinese tech firms have stepped up their effort to reduce their reliance on US-based GPUs, for which Huawei seems to be one of the key giants making this gradual shift a reality. Major Chinese tech giants still rely heavily on NVIDIA's technology for numerous functionalities. So what this move of Biden's means is that Biden is trying to rely on tech parties to manufacture some key GPUs for less powerful AI functionalities whilst they still continue to use NVIDIA's GPUs for heavier AI functionalities. Also, this move by Biden indicates that Biden is actually trying to diversify their sourcing of chipsets so as to reduce their reliance on NVIDIA. Beyond this, this move by Biden also indicates that Biden is looking at things from a long-term perspective. So don't be surprised that in the near future, we might be seeing Biden teaming up with a local Chinese tech giant to try and manufacture GPUs locally in China so as to avoid future damages that may come from US sanctions. Do you think Biden is actually making the right decision over here? Kindly let me know your thoughts in the comments section. You find this content informative? And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next update. See you in the next one. Peace out.